Hey, welcome to the Jay's Bricks. My name is Jack. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going over the new Lego Ninjago movie set. That's right, what you see on the screen is in fact Lego Ninjago City. It is the first time we've ever gotten a Ninjago City set from the Ninjago line. It will retail for around $300 with 4,800 pieces and a whopping 16 minifigures. What a monster of a set, too. It's the biggest Lego Ninjago set we've ever gotten from the Ninjago line. It lives up to the expectations we'd expect from a set this big. 16 minifigures is a lot. I am disappointed it didn't come with all the main characters, but it comes with quite a bit of citizens and people that could be vital to the plot, so that is very interesting to see. Moving on, though, this thing looks like a modular on steroids. It's packed with more detail than a normal Lego modular and has some things you would never get in a Lego modular set. Very cool to see that. Because it is so expensive though, I'm definitely going to have to save my money. I know many people will, but the architecture on this thing is, is fantastic and looks like nothing we've ever gotten from a LEGO set before. Just look at the images too. The interior is fully detailed. It has terraces for people to eat, enjoy. It looks really fantastic. We also get unique pieces in different colors which we haven't gotten before. LEGO also hinted at their own LEGO video game, Shadow of Ronin, through a poster. They also built a working LEGO elevator with a gear shaft for people that don't have that in their own house. It's a very good looking set, heavily detailed and heavily designed, so I'm definitely going to have to get it when it comes out, or when I save the money to buy it. But that's all i got to say today, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.